Warning. This is an extremely dangerous experiment. Please do not attempt to reproduce it. In this video I will build a Jacob's Ladder using some of these powerful microwave oven step-up transformers. When I started this project, the goal was to use 3 or 4 of them connected together. However, each one of them can draw a short circuit current up to 20 amps and this while using a 230 volts power outlet. For building the ladder I used a piece of wood in which I have bent two screws at an angle of roughly 30 degrees. And then I used a pair of wire couplers which I have tightened in place using a screwdriver. For the last part I used a pair of graphite rods which I have laying around. Graphite distinguishes itself from other conductors by withstanding the high temperatures of plasma. On the outside it is covered in a thin layer of copper, which will evaporate from the extreme heat of over 3000 Kelvin. And this is the finished product, I made it so the angle between the roads can be adjusted. Here you can see the full setup. On the low voltage side we have two switches and a power factor correction capacitor. Then there are the two transformers with both primary and secondary hooked together. Another capacitor bank on the high voltage side and last but not least the Jacobs ladder itself. Here you can see the full schematic, the power supply is the 230 volts power outlet. The main switch is used to power the transformers, then there is a bipolar switch which is used to connect the power factor correction capacitor. The thing with such big transformers is that a lot of current is wasted as a reactive power which is needed to magnetize the core. This in turn overloads the grid with additional current which is not used to generate active power. The role of this capacitor is to generate reactive power so it won't have to draw it from the grid. This 100 microfarad capacitor can supply roughly 7 amps of current which generates reactive power. If you want to know more about this subject I made a video with in-depth explanation, make sure to watch it, link in the description. Moving on, the primary windings of the transformers are coupled in parallel while secondary high voltage windings are hooked in series. Each of these transformers need a 3 microfarad capacitor to achieve resonance frequency. This both limits the current and increases spark length. These are microwave oven capacitors, each one having a capacity of 1 microfarad at 2000 volts. But enough talking, now let's see it in action, shall we?
Although it makes an impressive show, the arc does not always initiate itself and it needs my screwdriver assistance. In order to fix this, I decided to add a heat source by placing this wick under the electrodes. The flame will expand the air, which in turn lowers air pressure and decreases its electrical resistance. Now let's see if this works. Next, I'll show you what it looks like through this light filter from an arc welder mask. Now it's time for another slow motion bliss. Enjoy! In this experiment, I hooked this fluorescent tube light directly to the 4 kV output. The flickering is caused by the 50 Hz frequency, which although you cannot really notice it with naked eye, it is captured by my high speed camera. Here are some safety precautions I have to take between each sequence of making this video. Starting with the basics, powering up the circuit. So, first I need to supply the reactive power by connecting the C1 capacitor to the grid. Then, clearing the area and powering up the transformers. This was the obvious part, now the tricky part is powering down the assembly. So, even after disconnecting both breakers and unplug it from the outlet, it is still not safe to handle, because each of these capacitors can store a dangerous charge for many minutes after disconnecting power supply. So in order to discharge the big cap, we then close both breakers for a few seconds, such as the current can dissipate through the primary windings. As you can see, there is enough energy stored to flash this tube. For the high voltage capacitor bank, it's enough to short the Jacobs ladder with a screwdriver, so the energy is discharged through the secondary windings. The idling current drawn by both of the transformers is a little over 6 amps, but as you can see only 140 watts of active power is consumed. This means that most of the current measured earlier is used as reactive power. As you can see, by connecting the capacitor, the current is dropped by almost 40%. However, initially the capacitor was oversized for using 4 transformers, so the setup is actually working with a slightly capacitive power factor. Again, if you want to know more about this subject, I suggest you go watch the video in the description. Here I am measuring the current overload. This capacitor generates 7 amps of reactive power. The measuring domain of the clamp meter is set to 20 amps. <laughs> It goes off scale, I'm switching it over on the next measuring domain of 200 amperes.
this device can detect and store the maximum value of current, which as you can see is 30 amps and uh, over 5 kilowatts of active power. On the high voltage output side, the measured current is a little over 2 amps. Now let's see what happens when we place a CD over the electrodes. It looks like the metallic side was instantly evaporated and the plastic has turned to carbon. Now it's time for another slow motion bliss. Enjoy! In the next experiment, I want to see what happens if I short the electrodes with this thin magnet wire. The thickness is 0.1 mm. What do you think it will happen to it? Remember that there are over 2 amps of current, so the best guess is that the copper wire should completely evaporate under high temperatures. The wire was blown apart way too fast. On the second try I decided to pass the wire back and forth multiple times, perhaps this time it will blow much slowly or not at all. I ended up with a total of 13 passes of copper wire. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it please share and subscribe and also comment below what experiment would you like to see next time. Bye bye!